Senior Corps at Missoula Aging Services is Missoula's volunteer hub. Hundreds of volunteer opportunities await. You can help improve reading skills, school attendance, and the well-being of students, provide services that help older adults, or find out about countless other opportunities that will capture your interest. Because your heart's desire never ages, now is the time to reinvent yourself. Discover your perfect volunteer opportunity by calling 728-7682. A great day for me includes a walk outside with my wife. My great day includes reading a good book. A great day for me includes the morning crossword puzzle. My great day includes playing the piano. As you grow older, Missoula Aging Services can help direct your aging journey with the new Options for Better Aging program. Give them a call at 728-7682 to find out more. For too long, corporate tobacco has exploited our people. I mean hey guys, we're back here with uh, uh, Laura uh, Degley Correct. and uh, Nancy Jordan, and they're here to talk about uh, uh, senior cores and volunteering here in Missoula. So uh, you guys are from the Missoula Asian Services, mm -hmm. and um, what do you guys uh, want to emphasize about the volunteering at the Missoula Asian Services? Well, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, volunteerism and how it's such a critical component of our mission at Missoula Aging Services, which is to promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults and those who care for them. So, uh, Nancy, you're one of the um, all-around um, volunteers for Missoula Aging Services. How long have you done uh, volunteering for uh, Missoula? I believe I started in 2008, and I've done a lot of different things. Um, I started because I wanted to be in the middle of what was happening with elder people. So I have done volunteering for Senior Companion, and now I'm a foster grandmother. I also do RSVP and have a lot of fun doing that because that's we're all over the place. So everything is great. I love the whole feeling it gives me about my life and others' lives, which interact and make me a different person. So what does it take to be a volunteer? It just takes love. That's all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Julie, how, how old do you have to be to be a Senior Corps volunteer? <laughs> to be a Senior Corps volunteer, you have to be age 55, but Missoula Aging Services offers volunteer opportunities for people of all ages. If you want to volunteer through the agency, you can do things such as working the reception desk or maintaining our resource library. And then in the Senior Corps program, you can be a senior companion like Nancy was, or a foster companion like Nancy is, or do RSVP, which is community-wide volunteer events, working for um, community agencies such as the Missoula Art Museum, or the Police Department, wow. or Project Homeless Connect, which is actually coming up this weekend. Yeah, we had an interview earlier uh, on Monday for Missoula Live that you guys can totally <laughs> check out. Uh, uh, they were talking about Project Homeless Connect, and you guys are working with the Paul Varela Center and also, I can't remember, um, United Way yes. of Missoula. Uh -huh. So uh, among other organizations uh, um, and other volunteership, wh which, of, of which volunteering at the Missoula Agent Service is something that uh, really stands out? Um, I believe that what really stands out is their foster grand uh, children program. They do have some tutors, but most of it is mentoring, and what I do is mentor. I have children that um, maybe they are not slower at one thing and better at another, and so we just work with them and and um, try to challenge them and and see what happens with them. And But most of the time, I just try to give them the attention that some children don't get. Yeah. And it's, it's interesting because, you know, my parents are now grandparents and they have uh, little grandchildren that they spoil all the time. Uh, but uh, I, I noticed that they definitely do take a different approach with their grandchildren than they ever did with us. They were really like rrr, 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 with their kids, but yeah. their grandkids are just like, okay, we know what's going on here. We'll, we'll let them figure it out, that kind of thing. It doesn't take them long to figure you out at school. The, the children, <laughs> they, they know if you've got a soft place and they work you. <laughs> definitely. There's definitely mentorship in the grandparent <laughs> program with the students. Um, another component of what stands out as volunteerism is that it gives the volunteers 
an opportunity to be a part of the community as a whole and <coughs> as the smaller community with like-mindedness um, within the volunteer programs. So it gives volunteers a sense of purpose and a sense of belonging. And it just, it's a true benefit that people can reach out to do their heart's desire. And we try to make that perfect match for what a volunteer really wants to do so that they can make the difference in the world that, that their heart is calling them to do. So I'm showing uh, everybody your website. And what can you tell about uh, navigating to the website and how people can volunteer and how people can be involved? Sure, if people want to check out our website, they will see volunteer opportunities. There's a job description list with um, a brief description of the jobs available. They can apply online and we'll get that and contact them. Or people can call us to get uh, more detailed job descriptions. The phone number is 728-7682. We would love to talk with people a little bit more about what their skill set is, their experience, and what their heart's desire is to help them get into the position they want to do to make a difference. So we recommend that people just call 728-7682 or jump on our website at missoulaagingservices.org. Great, is there anything else you guys want to say? Yeah, also the volunteers, a lot of them carry cards that have the website and everything on it for people cool. to sign up and, and if asking a volunteer would be a great thing because they can also tell them how it's implanted, implanted in their life, the differences of, mm. of how it made their life because I think it d works both ways. Absolutely. I, th I think it works for um, me as yeah. well as for the who I'm with. Yeah, and also Absolutely. something I also forgot to ask is like, what are some of the benefits um, um, seniors can get for volunteering? I think um, I think that the benefit I got was the fact that you can get bored very fast in your life and you need to contribute somehow and some people when they retire feel like they're not contributing but this is a very good way to contribute because uh, maybe a lot of them remember the facts that they had elderly parents or grandparents and the help that they did or didn't receive and therefore you can go forward with what you feel uh, it, it does Great job for both of us. I recently just interviewed a gal and was telling her about a specific need that we have for people to serve in our community. And she just looked at me and she says, oh, I so need to be needed. And I think that is a general yeah. answer that we get from a lot of our volunteers. People want that sense of purpose. That's a huge benefit. And we always say that anybody is eligible to be um, a volunteer. And it doesn't really matter what your skill set is or your experience because we will train and help you along the way if it's something new for you. Well, thanks guys for joining me. And if you guys want more information, go to MissoulaAsianServices.org or you can call them at 728-7682. All right, thanks guys. Thanks.